It is coming up to 6am. This is Sunrise. These are our top stories. Class superhero Smackdown, the cast of Captain America. And the ultimate superhero Smackdown, the stars of the new Marvel film that's tipped to be one of the biggest movies of the year. It's coming up to 7 o'clock. These are our top stories. Class superhero Smackdown, the cast of Captain America. Are you still to come this sunrise? Captain America and Iron Man go head to head as friends become Captain enemies in their latest film. Still to come on Sunrise. The ultimate battle of the superheroes, the all-star cast of Captain America Civil War. All right, now there's just about one thing you can be guaranteed of in Hollywood that Marvel superhero movies always dominate at the box office. This week sees the release of Captain America Civil War and already it's on track to make over $1 billion in ticket sales. Wow. The film stars most of the Avengers team plus a few newcomers, but this time the heroes are split between two sides, one led by Captain America, the other by Iron Man. We sent our movie reviewer Jason Jabba Davis to meet the cast. Captain, while a great many people see you as a hero, there are some who would prefer the word vigilante. Captain America's Civil War sees the Avengers team deeply divided. One group, led by Captain America, wants the Avengers to remain free to safeguard humanity. The other, led by Tony Stark's Iron Man, wants to make sure the government keeps a close grip on the superheroes friends become enemies. The Avengers start to turn on each other. Sorry, Tommy. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. There is one thing notably missing from this film, an Aussie presence. Something director Joe Russo is all too aware of. I've got to say from the outset, Aussies will be going, right. uh, well, I suppose Hugh or uh, uh, Chris are probably in the movie. No Australian yeah. superheroes. If at the, you pay attention to the end of Ultron, there's a clue as to where Thor is, and there's a clue as to where the Hulk is. So n neither of those guys are in this movie for very specific reasons, and I want to blow the storytelling. But if Thor and Wolverine were around, how does Captain America think he'd fare against the Aussie heartthrobs? Now, in life or as their characters? Both. Okay, in life, I think they'd both rip me in half. Um, I think as their characters, I think he'd do okay against Wolverine. Um, Thor's tough, he's got the lightning, he can fly, he's a god, you know, that's, that's, that's a tall order. I'm thinking that might be why those characters, or specifically Thor, is absent from this film, because a god is not really going to accept limitations and restrictions on his superpowers. Agreed. I, I, think, I think the fight would just be over a little too quickly with, with either Thor or Hulk. Truthfully, I think, I think it just would be such a, uh, a dominant force. You know, you kind of have to make the, the playing field somewhat level. Well, Chris Evans has become a household name thanks to his role as Captain America. Off screen, his life is a little less heroic. I spend a lot of time at home for me. I mean, it's really about downtime. You know, you do these movies and, and, and they're wonderful to make. And as an actor and as an artist, this is, this is kind of my passion. But, but this isn't how I would define myself. You know, this isn't where I find my ultimate level of peace and contentment with the world. You know, I go back home. I'm from Boston. So a lot of, a lot of my downtime is spent back there. And that's where you start to feel uh, plugged in and calm and centered. I just want to make sure we consider all our options. Because people that shoot at you usually wind up shooting at me. Anthony Mackie returns as Falcon, Captain America's sidekick, and Sebastian Stan, the Winter Soldier, as Bucky. Is there any gadget envy between you? But he only has one gadget. I have many gadgets. Yeah, but I take quality over quantity, so, you know. Well, first I'm of all, I have I'm a drone, a homie. I'm My a... drone can shut your arm down. I know, down. you need the help of a, of a pet. But you need the help okay. of an arm. When we lock your arm down, you just turned into a nursery school girl. Oh, you weren't, God. right? I take Did the you see the movie? Batteries out we literally backpack. screwed his arm down, and he was like, you'll okay, be, I'll shut up now. I'm you'll so be sorry. Like a chicken without Please head don't on. mess up my hair. <gasps> You really work your actors very hard, speaking to the guys and, and building up to talking to you. Who do you think has the hardest physical job uh, on the set? Interesting, you know, I think Chris Evans has the hardest physical job because of what we require from him. It's very important in the action sequences that the audience see him executing the stunts as much as possible. He gets beat up a lot. I could do this all day.
if we were going to have an Australian superhero and an Australian villain in the Marvel Universe, what do you think the attributes or characteristics of those would be? Oh, God, I don't know. I couldn't even tell you. Um, every time I look at Chris Hemsworth's Instagram or something, you see him taking these photos of, like, you know, oh, just a little buddy in my backyard, and it's like a 12-foot snake or something crazy. So, so maybe you guys could, uh, I don't know, wrestle some wild, wild creatures without batting an eye. You guys just do it casually while drinking a beer. On the roost!